Mga puso, we have a very special guest joining us. We are so glad because he gave us a chance to sit down and talk despite his busy schedule. Our guest for today came all the way from the beautiful nation of India. Let's all welcome His Excellency Shambhu S. Kumaran, the Ambassador of India to the Philippines. Ambassador Kumaran, good morning and welcome to At Home with GMA Regional TV and to the City of Golden Friendship, Cagayan de Oro. How are you doing today? Thank you very much. It's wonderful to be in the Golden City. We are honored to have you here today, sir. You are here in Cagayan de Oro City for the Mindanao Food Congress in Oro Best Expo. So, firstly, how was your visit have been? Well, this is an important event that we are very much looking forward to in the context of the broader India-Philippines relationship. As you know, the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, and the President of the Philippines, Mr. Ferdinand Marcos, had a telephone conversation. And in that conversation, they identified agriculture as an area of uh, great interest to both our countries. So we are beginning to implement that decision of our leaders. And uh, we recognize that for the Philippines government, agriculture is a big priority. And India is doing quite well in agriculture. As you know, uh, we have been developing our agriculture sector quite strongly and we'd like to share our experiences. So this is why this is a very important event for us. But more importantly, I think that there's a larger process of engagement between our business, uh, you know, our companies and our businesses. And so this is an opportunity for businesses in Mindanao and Kagan de Oro to get to know some of the Indian companies. Sir, I believe uh, there will be an India cultural night and uh, dinner at the atrium. What can Filipinos uh, expect, particularly our Mindanaoan participants, from the cultural night? Well, we're bringing uh, an Indian folk uh, dance. It's a very energetic dance form called the Bhangra. And I'm sure that uh, the Mindanaoans would be happy to dance uh, to the tune of the beats there. Sir, one of the reasons that you are here is to strengthen the relationship between our two countries, India and the Philippines. So far, how, uh, from your point of view, how was the uh, ongoing bilateral trade relationship between our countries? I think India and the Philippines are in a phase of rapid, uh, you know, shall we say, elevate, rapidly elevating our relationship. We have a very strong political dialogue. I mentioned the conversation between the Prime Minister and the President. Uh, we have a very strong people-to-people -people relationship. Uh, India and uh, Philippines have a very old historical partnership. And Mindanao has been actually uh, one of the areas where these ideas and spirituality and culture of India mixed with that of the Philippines. But most importantly, I do sense that the economic and the commercial relationship is at the center of our partnership. And that's why we believe that uh, this business event, uh, which of course focuses on agriculture, but agriculture is a very large area, and brings in elements of digital technology brings in elements of industry, uh, food processing, agricultural implements, uh, and it also brings in elements of biotechnology, things like seeds. So it's a very vast area. Sir, as you've already mentioned, the Mindanao Food Congress in the Oro Best Expo focuses on the agricultural side. So how will India uh, help our local farmers in the local scene here in Mindanao? Well, what we want to showcase is uh, what's been happening in India. And we believe that the Filipino companies and the Filipino uh, entities would be best placed to decide what would work in the Philippines context. But what we've seen in India is a large set of initiatives covering policy, agricultural mechanization, financing support, marketing support, but more importantly also uh, using technology, agri-tech interventions to support the farmers. All of these are very, very useful in, uh, in our view to this ongoing effort led by uh, the President of the Philippines to revive Philippines agriculture and to increase the productivity of your farmers. And we want to play a supporting role. We don't want to play a prescriptive role. We want to give you our experience. We want to present our companies who can support this effort. Here at the venue, we're also showcasing the various products that are proudly Mindanaoan and proudly Filipino. Uh, are there any products that caught your eye and would want to bring back home to your country? 
Well, a range of products from the Philippines, uh, very, very interesting products, uh, whether it's food products, a lot of your cultural products, these are very, very promising. And uh, I would really want to spend a little more time to, to understand what are the uh, areas which are of priority here. All right, Dagang Salamat. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Shambhu S. Kumaran, the Ambassador of India to the Philippines, for generously giving your time here at our program. Namaste and uh, more power to you. Thank you for having me. Kiniyang at home with GMA Regional TV.